Hello Tubesers, back again. I've taken the old readers off for a minute, so I've got no chance of seeing this, but uh, a few months ago, seems like a long time ago now, I printed off, I've got one of those Mars Elegoo printers. Uh, I've only ever used it once, apart from to do the test piece, and that was on uh, on these guys. I did two of these Barbarians, a uh, couple of like 40k type of elf things, uh, and that's as far as it got. Uh, we're calling this, by the way, well, not this one. Uh, we're calling his mate uh, Barbarian. Uh, these are Barbarians, by the way. Uh, the, it was a freebie. Uh, they said old school uh, Barbarians. Well, I was always into historicals uh, as a youth. Uh, I was never really had, had any much time for the, the fantasy scene or, or you know, any of the Games Workshop type stuff. Uh, so I just. You know, he's a Conan esque. I'm not even a fan of Conan, to be honest with you. <laughs> but um, I've had to see a few pictures just to see how I get a, get a feel for doing this one. Uh, yeah, but he's called him my old school barbarian. Uh, and as I say, I've done him in resin uh, on my 3D printer. Now, and he's priming in grey. Although, to be honest with you, he doesn't look much different from the uh, from the actual resin. Although the smell of the resin. Oh, I tell you, I've got the normal grey Elegoo resin but I'm going to try and see what the the, the low odour stuff because it, it, oh my life the smell that's why I haven't done anything else it, it lingered in this room I, I work in this room and all I can do is keep I mean God help us when the when the winter's here because uh, I'm going to have to have the, the, the windows open for it uh, it's the only place I can do do the printing so yeah it's uh, and you've got to be working in that and in that environment it's not brilliant and then it seems to linger for, for a good few days afterwards so yeah, I'm going to try the low odor stuff. Um, see if that makes a difference. Uh, you know, I know you can buy these little Elegoof. Uh, th oh, I swear they're battery operated. I, I might be wrong, but that's no point. I'll be eating batteries up every five minutes. Uh, and also, I'm, I'm, there's not a mad rush me to print stuff. I've just said I've got the printer. It's here. When I want to use it, I can use it. I, I was a bit disappointed. Um, I thought I'd do a lot more one in get a lot more one in thirty five st scale stuff out there, but from what I've seen, most of the designers seem to be obviously selling their stuff onto Shapeways and things like that, where you can get stuff. Uh, but that's no good to me because I don't want to. <laughs> the point buying prints of other people if you've got a machine that'll do it yourself. Um, I'm, I've not been in any massive hurry to to uh, try and. Uh, do all the different if it's not supported I don't do it and as I've said I couldn't work out how to do it, even though people have tried to help me I haven't been able to do the RAR files and the uh, and the, the zip files and that so unless it's S STL straight to the to the print you know to the T2 box and that that I've got uh, I just don't do them or I won't be doing them I keep looking at them and think oh that's really nice and then you see it says zip file and I'm like oh no no, it nearly blew my brains last time. I can't afford that, so uh, I'll just go with unfortunately the easiest option. But there's still some nice figures out there. Uh, I went to the princely sum of about three quid or three pound, uh, and I've downloaded another figure because he may fit onto this little this sheet scene I'm going to show you in a minute, or he may not. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, I'm not doing tons of it. It's I'll, I'll print stuff off when I want to print stuff off, um, but I must admit I have been taken with a couple of uh, I don't know if there's seventy five I think there's seventy five mil uh, fantasy uh, prints and sci fi type of prints, uh, so I may take the plunge because like for a four or five quid, uh, yes it's going to take forever to print. Uh, you can either think, I think you can either print them as a whole one, but that's no good. It's going to take like. 20 hours, two days, I have no idea, I don't know how long it takes, but um, that's the other off-putting thing, I try and, because of the stench, I try and squeeze it in, because bearing in mind we obviously sleep up in the next rooms and that, you don't want all that smell, so I have to get it printed in a, you know, like a, a six-hour period type thing, and if it ain't going to print, then it doesn't get done, um, but some of these, they do arms and legs and things like that, so we shall see. Uh, watch this space, as they say. So, join me at the bench. Uh, by the way, this is modelled on a, a good marrow of the channel, a friend, buddy. I keep saying that because there are people that don't know what marrow means. Uh, 
yes, it is green and grows in a garden, but it also means mate. Uh, but yeah, uh, a good mayor of the channel, Joe from Mad Genius Productions. Now, uh, Joe uh, is obviously, I, I do believe he lives down in um, in LA, as, uh, as I believe it's called, Los Angeles, City of Angels, something like that. Uh, anyway, he, he lives down there and he's quite well known for working out at Venice Beach, or so I believe. And I really did think that uh, that if Joe from Mad Venus Productions, who was, he was always terrified to show more than his hands, sorry, other videos loading up there and I thought the sound was going to come on. Uh, if Joe was a barbarian, he'd look like one of these guys. So this is Joe the Barbarian. So join me at the bench and let's, uh, let's see how far we got with Joe. Right guys, thanks for joining me at the bench. Uh, so this is again more close up version of our of our figure. It's not too bad. Uh, it wasn't a problem to print. Uh, and as I say, as the, the, the guy, this was a freebie obviously to tempt you into the, the main range. Um, the fur is is a bit simplistic. Uh, well, simplistic. It's not that bad to be honest with you. But but it, when you paint it, it's 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 a bit softer, uh, and you know the details. Say like here at the back of the like a rolled up pouch type of thing uh, is a bit lacking, and so is the little one there. Uh, but it's not something that you can't deal with with paint. It's that's not a particular problem. And support wise, uh, you know, it wasn't too bad taking off. Um, so I've pinned him there to put in a, in a cork bung. Uh, I'm going to be trying to do some. I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of like Angel Geraldes and that, and uh, and uh, David uh, Da Vinci, uh, their channels, uh, and they, they do some fantastic work. Uh, and uh, I, I pick a lot of good tips up from them. So this is this is our Joe the Barbarian at the moment. Uh, I'm not very good at non-metallic. I'm learning. Um, I've got a long way to go. Uh, and a, you can't see it all there because it's uh, it's being bleached off with the lights. But um, I I think it was Angel Angel. I was following his eyes because I was flipping between I've watched so many of the others. Uh, as well, uh, but I, I gave him a mahogany base uh, coat this time. They always paint from black, and I've never been a fan of painting from black. And it's it's a bit hard for me to push myself to go back to doing a black base. I might do it just to just to see on how they paint. Uh, you know how you know if it really if 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 it would appeal to me again. I I, I just don't think it would. I prefer painting from grey, and then putting dark shadow areas in and. And, and work from there to be honest with you uh, but I did put a, a brown wash uh, a mahogany brown wash I did paint this over mahogany brown uh, to start off with I haven't done the skull yet he's going to be metal in the skull as well done non-metallic it is a bit more vibrant than that but again the lights I will do some photographs of this guy when uh, when it's all complete uh, but yeah he's um He's got non-metallic. I've done it darker on the other side with the uh, with the shadow. I will be putting. Sorry, guys, sneeze attack. Uh, I will be putting some uh, ground uh, colours reflections in in the sword, but not till I actually work out completely what I'm going to do with the ground. Um, but yeah, you know, he's a, it, it's it's because he's a barbarian. It's a fairly simple figure. You know, there's not a lot to it. Uh, and a right game with the fur, uh, trying to keep it warm, um, and what I wanted to do with it. Uh, I may lighten up some of the skin areas. Uh, I took it from his He-Man tutorial, uh, but he's obviously done his He-Man really light. And when I was looking at the Conan photos, uh, I um, and and the artwork for Conan, unless you're going to to the the gr oh, we'll call it grimy yeah. Frank somebody and I can't remember his name uh, his style of, of artwork uh, when I looked at like f photos and other artwork that it was a lot more warm on the skin uh, so I went with this type of tanned look 
uh, but I may still lighten it up in places and, and add a few more extra bits and pieces in yet. I've got to sort the eyes out a bit better. I didn't do a great job, although they're all scrunched up. Um, you know, you're not going to get them, get them perfect. But uh, no, I don't think he's turned out that bad. As I say, the sword, that was a repaint. I did it one night and then repainted it and tried again. Uh, and that's obviously all brushwork, but I'm, I'm going to try the airbrush uh, on the next figure and just try and uh, smooth it out and see how that looks. So that's Joe the Barbarian so far. He hasn't got that much more to go. Um, and I wasn't going to show it because it was actually all done, but I just know it's going to take a slightly you know, bit of time to do the, the actual um, base itself, which is this that I've been working on. I've just put it on a... Obviously this is just to hold it. I've, I've put it on an MDF base. It's only a, it's not a gaming piece. It was just something for me to play around with. Blue foam, uh, just put out in places. Oh, it's going to obviously be all. I have PVA'd this, uh, but it's going to be uh, textured, obviously, and things. Uh, I've got. I bought some AK crackle medium. And I'm gonna. It doesn't tell you how to use it. I've had to go online, and even then, it was a, a late, well online on YouTube and. I had to watch the Vallejo equivalents, but it's all roughly the same. Um, but I'll do some crackling here. And I wanted to do like a, an orangey, orangey base type of thing. So, uh, that'll be... Uh, our guy will presumably, I say presumably... Oh, that's it, Gab, just demolish the back... the backdrop. Uh, presumably... I'm going to put him up here. I've been testing it out last night. He'll go something like that. Now, there may be a second f figure here. It's all a bit close, really. Uh, you know, I didn't want it to be some whopping great big construction because I've got so... You know, this is a problem with me. Look, look at me. I've got a Buster's finish painting. I've got the Tommy's War vignette. Uh, so instead of doing finishing everything, putting that together for that, I've been doing this. Uh, you know what it's like with me. I, I, I changed... You know, it's quite like like a like a weather vane. Um, I've been painting because I'd seen Anhel's uh, He-Man. It got me thinking about this Conan figure. So, well, he's not Conan, but you know, barbarian figure. And uh, I decided to have a go on on painting him. Uh, I've been painting some six mils, which I'm just going to flock in a bit. Uh, obviously, all the usual Napoleonic commissions been going on. Uh, I've been doing, uh, and I can't reach it now. Can I reach it? No, nah. uh, I've got another thirty-year figures, another thirty-year war figure completed, um, uh, and obviously the ship, ships being stuck together in the background as well and painted. So, yeah, there's there's also as always there's lots there's probably too much going on really. I need to to stop flitting around, but I'm not the only one. Even when we had problems, I'm not the only one that uh, that does that. So, next time you see Joe the Barbarian, uh, he will be. Uh, depending on, de uh, I'll be doing I'll be doing all the base as I go now, uh, and I'll show you the figure. If he prints off successfully, I'll show you the other figure I I did. It just really depends on the, the base. If I have Barbarian Man lower down, you know he's got some backdrop there, but he's going to be literally, a, in my opinion, probably too close to the other figure. So I thought, well, if I built it up high and add him up here, obviously he's going to be down on his, his metal pegs. Uh, and had the, the guy, he's not going to be working on these bits of stones here, but, you know, have him somewhere. <laughs> you watch, he won't fit on any of these and have to carve them out. But, uh, you know, have him somewhere down on, on here. It might just work. And if it doesn't, well, we'll just have a, our our Joe the Barbarian on a nice, uh, on a nice sandy, sandy picturesque base. Right, guys. Thank you very much for stopping by and taking a look. Uh, thank you for all your kind comments that you do and the likes and things like that. It's always appreciated. You're very kind people. Uh, as I've already mentioned on the video previous previous to this, a shout out video. I've got a ton of stuff coming up. Uh, as I say, because I do things so itsy bitsy and bits here and bits there, you don't see others. It's like the bust. You'll you'll not see that bust maybe even for another month. I don't know. Uh, it might be a couple of weeks, and then all of a sudden there's another jump in progress. You know, uh, it's just how it is. Same with the Starfighter. The Starfighter um, is just waiting for the snow speeder to be done, and uh, and 
you know, obviously I'll start sticking that together alongside the, the ship as well. Uh, it just depends how I feel. At the moment I'm in a painting mood, so, you know, obviously I'm painting a lot more in the background as well. So we shall see. Look after yourselves. Uh, thanks for all the great videos you're putting up. They're always they're always uh, brilliant company for, for me at my desk because, as I say, I'm up here literally. Apart from taking me pop out, I'm here all the time, really, So uh, apart from meal times. So, um, yeah, it's, 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 you're always good company. I appreciate that. So look after yourselves and we'll see each, see each other soon on another video. Cheers.